If you are here for the first time, you must know that my favorite genre is sci-fi and fantasy. I mean, movies, games, books, of course. Sci-fi and fantasy gives some designers a huge opportunity to create some unique creatures with their voices. Remember this guy? Or this guy? That guy? This one? Him? Um, never mind. We can find recognizable voices in games too, for example, Gladys. Excellent. You're a predator, and these tests are your prey. It's not only about what are they speaking, it's also about the emotions we can find in their voices. It's mainly about how they sound. Some of them are pitched down, dark and scary, and the other ones are pitched up, robotic and funny. And when you meet a new character for the first time, you can tell by hearing his voice if it's a good or bad one, in most cases. Probably if he's wearing black, he's bad. And today we are going to take a look at Vocal Synth 2 plugin from Isotope as a tool for voice sound design. As always, you know what to do, likes and subscriptions are very welcome. So first of all, I would like to thank guys from Isotope for giving me this plugin so I can show it to you. Without you, there will be no video like this, not as soon as this one for sure. Of course, you may know Isotope from their world-class audio repair bundle called RX or some music-related plugins. I guess Vocal Synth is made to be a music plugin, but not for me. So let's take a look at this big boy. Inside we can choose between three modes, Auto, MIDI and Sidechain. I'll show you the features in Auto mode and then a quick sneak peek at MIDI and Sidechain. Below we have five modules to work with, BioVox where we can adjust vocal characteristics like nasality, vowel shapes and formants. Next we have Vocoder. CompuVox with robotic glitchy beat crushing functions, my favorite, TalkBox and PolyVox for building harmonies. Below we can have advanced controls of those modules, pitch, voicing and visual mixer. On the bottom there are 7 effects which you can put in any order you want. Pretty much all of the functions are self-explanatory but if you want to know more, you can hover your mouse over any knob and you'll see what it does. You can also visit Isotope's site to read more about this plugin and any other tool, of course. So instead of going through all of them one by one, I'll play with them live for you and later I'll show you some examples of what I did with VocalSynth 2. First one is BioVox, let's turn it on. So you have clarity, shift, breath, nasal, and those things like two oscillators you can play with pitch, you can add noise, you can turn it on and off, of course, and this is, this is fun, you will see how it works, I will say ooh. Let's change the knobs so you can actually understand what am I saying. Uh, I will keep saying ooh, and you will see how moving this circle changes the characteristic of the vocals. So, so we can turn any uh, vocal sample or recording into any vowel you want, and you can automate all of those parameters, of course. Let's go to the vocoder. Okay, this is a vocoder. And what you can do here is change the type of the vocoder to the scale. Of course, with any of those modules, you can add your own vocals. If I made them all register in any amount you want, you can add that correction. Chromatic major, minor, or custom. Again, we have two oscillators, noise and all those advanced. Uh, 
so I can be recognizable blah 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 this is destroying the vocals in my favorite way so this is the most useful mode for any sci-fi voice sound design let's go to the talk box pretty much Usual talk box drive format mode blah 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 you can do some weird vocal effects with talk box too. The last module is polyvox and and humanize below we have seven effects filter la 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 section which you may know what it does from analog edgy fuzzy transform you have Cambridge Oxford this is uh, amp simulator or something like this Blah 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 blah. Shred. 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 One two one two one two three. Chorus. Classic effect. Delay. Also, nothing unexpected. And drink much later. Blah blah. Okay, so let's play and turn on all of them. So, are two presets I've made before as my sci-fi vocal sound design examples made with vocal synth. I can't stop doing videos about sci-fi sound design. This plugin from kicks ass. We can't forget about its presets like this one, my favorite, and those who watch my channel know why. Hey Disney, I want to do sound for Star Wars. If not, just count the percentage of videos about Star Wars here. Coming back to modes. In MIDI mode you can use MIDI data to control your pitch and create custom vocal harmonies as you play. Recreate the experience of playing a classic vocoder or talk box. This is from Isotope's site. And an example of course. This is actually me singing Cher, but with vocal synth on. Let's leave it without any comments. Sidechain mode. Sidechain mode lets you make any audio talk or create new outlandish sounds that would be impossible otherwise. 
It's also from Isotope's site. So this is a rap vocal sample combined with funky organ sample, making some new sounds. So this is without vocal synth. The fellas know I'm a dime, they step to me with a line. The rhyme. And I'm an independent diva with a style. And this is the electric piano sample. Nobody for nothing. I'm an in the As you can hear, some new interesting sounds incoming with side chain mode. And of course, this plugin is made for music production, so I'll let you look at my King of My Castle remix where I played with MIDI mode doing some harmonies for vocal tracks. <laughs> Maybe I'll put it as a separate video too if I finish this one. So let's sum it up. Three modes, five modules, seven effects, visual mixer, tuner and other stuff packed in one plugin which is advertised as music production tool but as I showed you it is also a very fast and powerful tool for sci-fi vocal sound design for movies or games. Again, big thanks Isotope for giving me this one so I can show it to you. Enjoy your time with Vocal Synth. And that's all. I really enjoyed showing you Vocal Synth 2 plugin and I think I will use it a lot with my sci-fi voice sound designs. Let me know in comments what plugins do you use for voice sound designs. I'm especially interested in sci-fi sound designs, of course. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like, don't forget to subscribe and until next time.